How is everyone doing today? We're back with another episode of License Plate Spotlight. Today is Kentucky. We're doing Kentucky. I didn't even know where it was on the map. I had to find it. Couple neat things. Their uh, state bird is the cardinal. And uh, their tree is a tulip tree. It's pretty cool. Their flower, I don't know, kind of inappropriate name, but their flower is the golden rod. And their animal is, uh, we're talking about Kentucky. Oh, they look a squirrel. Uh, gotcha. Anyways, enough about what Kentucky does. We know they like horses too. We'll show you one in just a second, but uh, we're gonna flip this camera around and start putting on my Kentucky collection Plus, so show you all kinds of cool pictures we found online. We hit up Alpka's site, found all kinds of cool ones. Not them all, because uh, you gotta become a member. That's alpka.org, the Automobile License Plate Collectors Association. Become a member today, and you can access these archives too and see all these cool pictures. So uh, we're gonna flip this thing around so you can see my beautiful mug, and we'll start flipping up some cool plates on the wall like 1946 black with silver pretty cool one to start what do you think i think it's pretty cool but uh let's flip this guy around and we'll show you all the cool stuff okay now that we got that camera flipped around and uh we're about to put up some kentucky plates i didn't have any horses to show you so i thought i'd show you my magical uh Magical shirt, unicorn and all. It's close enough for a Kentucky horse, right? Anyways, enough of that. Now we're gonna look at license plates. Kentucky Spotlight. I'm gonna keep looking down because I got a few notes so I remember what I'm telling you guys. 1947, we got a window sticker. He kept that 46 plate we showed you a little while ago and threw this window sticker on your windshield. Uh, save metal for war efforts. Lots of states did it. Kind of a neat thing. Hard to find some of them because who saved their windshield? But we also got this uh, silver with black lettering sample of what their plate would have looked like if they issued a plate. But they didn't. 1948. Now this one is super cool. Because you all know I like orange plates. This one's aluminum with orange lettering. So cool. So, so, one of my favorite plates. It's on my to get list. 1949 is one of these waffle plates. And we already had one for Minnesota, same year, 1949. Go back and watch that video if you haven't seen it. But uh, they did the same thing, the exact same waffle plate. I don't know, stamp a different name on. But then in 1950, the green waffle. It's cool. Green plates, I like green plates. We're in the greenhouse, right? Loving plants, loving life. So uh, gotta have lots of green plants in here and uh, enjoy life. What else we got written down here? 52. We're back with the window sticker. This time, saving metal for the Korean War, I think. I don't know. I was nowhere near even being thought of being born yet, so. But they had stickers again. And now it gets kind of boring because they're just blue and white. 1955, blue with white letters. Now we're gonna show you mine. First one year I have, 1956, white with blue letters. Monroe County, named after James Monroe, United States President, 1817 to 1825. I learned something today because I never heard of that dude before. I never knew there was a President Monroe. Did you? Some of you might have, but I did not. So anyways, that's the first one to put on the wall. But uh, as I look around, I realize my impact is nowhere to be seen. So we're going to set that down for a second and show you that 1957, still blue, white letters. But number three pretty cool and then there's these these cool I don't know they're executive plates or something a couple different ones I'm going to show you and a couple governor plates 
this that last one that you see i don't know when, when i'm showing you but it's up there with the horses might not have been used it might have been like a souvenir gift plate to give to other dudes but they're really neat i'd never seen those before and then 59 if you guess blue with white you'd be correct followed by my 1960 white with blue blue and white white and blue white and blue rock castle county named after the rock castle river that uh is a boundary between rock castle and lafayette or something maybe but anyways uh we're gonna pause there for a second we got some more cool stuff to show you but i gotta find my impact so we can put these on the wall and we can't put them on the wall without an impact they won't stick so i'll be right back found it got those two put up into their place and uh we don't have anything else cool for quite a while until like the 1990s with this kentucky vietnam veteran plate most of my veteran plates are at home in another spot so we see the odd one here but i haven't really showed you many yet and uh, while I'm hanging this, I'm going to show you this cool 1963 Department of Highways Highway Crew plate. Yellow and black. It's pretty cool. Way better than the blue and white we've been seeing. And then they had these prototypes. So prototypes are plate plates they made. We might use these colors. Might try it. So let's see what people think. They had yellow with blue yellow with green and yellow with red so you want to see what they chose for 1966 for the next plate white with blue come on it's so boring so boring but in 69 they saved it a little bit with this historic car plate dark green with white and it come back in 79 again another dark green and white and again in 92, reverse the colors. All three of those really cool. That little car on there, I like it. It's way better than the blue and white over and over. The blue and white wouldn't be bad if you threw in some orange or green or something other than in your non-passenger plates. But uh, 72, still white and blue. Can I say 75? Ham radio plates, a little cooler is ham radio, but it's blue and white still blue still blue 75 again passenger plate you can see that little sticker in the corner stickers they're taking over that's what's happening can't help it it's a sticker plate and then in 78 new sticker plate you see up in the middle there the stickers kind of hiding up in there still white and blue and then this next one this next one really cool really got me excited there's lots of cool uh disabled veteran and handicapped veteran plates and they're all cool kind of half and half blue and red i'm not going to show them all to you like i said you got to become a member of alpca that's the automobile license plate collectors association alpca.org become a member to access their archives and you can see all of these but this one i had to show you because it makes me think of my man Christian because it looks like a Red Bull can. Look at this plate. Look at the color of this. Does that not make you think Red Bull? I think it is absolutely amazing. It is so cool. And uh, there's a few more cool ones here to show you now before we get back into anything I have to hang. Disaster emergency. That little symbol in the middle there. It's pretty cool firefighters or volunteer firefighters they did the same thing and then again civil air patrol they're all really cool really cool plates and then there was this one i thought was neat extended weight and they threw a shovel and a pickaxe on there for some reason like why do we need a shovel and a pickaxe for extra weight like we shoveled it in ourselves with this pickaxe i don't know cool looking plate but i don't know and then in 1988 we got that new base there. They finally come out with a new base, but it's still white and blue. A little bit of graphics. But the graphic plates started to come out. Like East Kentucky University. Or uh, what else we got here? 
Kentucky State or West Kentucky University. All really cool university plates. And then we jump ahead a decade, a whole decade, 1998, Ducks Unlimited. Neat plate, but it just looks like a sticker on the side. I don't know, something neat. And then this passenger plate, the new base, we got that sun on the horizon, whatever's going on there. They're trying to get some color going, but it's not white and blue, so uh, it's pretty cool. And then uh, there's this cool one with the horse. I don't know, it's pretty neat. And then starts the nature's finest plates. First one we're gonna show you is that butterfly. Second one we're gonna show you, you might recognize for mystery plate package 136. If you haven't watched that one, go back and check it out. It's got the Cardinal on there, the Kentucky State Bird. So I'm gonna throw this guy up there and uh, show you another one on nature's finest plates while I'm up here. Hopefully I don't fall off the ladder, you know, cross your fingers. You guys might get a shot, I don't know. But uh, that one I just showed you was pretty cool, I thought. Neat Nature's Finest with the dragonfly. And uh, then I'll show you another one of mine. The bird. 31958. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but he's chilling on a maple leaf. So he must have come from Canada. And... Uh, while I'm up there putting this up, I'll show you this other cool one, the hummingbird plate. The hummingbirds are really neat. I think we need a set of those for the greenhouse. I don't know, very bright, vibrant. There's a few other states that have hummingbirds, but I like that Kentucky one. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, I have two more nature's finest, but we're going to save them. First thing I'll show you this one, black plate, white letters. Keep the lights on. Burn coal. I don't, know. I don't know if they're still doing that. And this one, keep kids safe or whatever. Drawn with the crayons. Awesome bright color. Things are pretty getting pretty cool. Support autism. Purple plate. Cool little flower on there. I don't know. It's neat stuff. What else we got on here? Kentucky State with that horse. He's got Saskatchewan colors in his hair. So I think Kentucky wants to be like Saskatchewan. That's that's kind of my theory. Then we got this base introduced in like the 90s. 731 Bill B L L. It's pretty cool. We're gonna put him up here in the middle of nature's finest. While we're doing that, check out this plate. You see it? Polar bear. Support the zoos. I don't know how many polar bears there are in Kentucky. It seems like it'd be a little warm for a polar bear. Maybe you guys shouldn't have polar bears in your zoo. I don't know. Just a thought. Western Kentucky University. What is this red dude? Anyone? Someone comment on the video. Please tell me what this red dude is. Plus, you're still here hanging out, loving my video, learning about Kentucky. Just like I am, I knew nothing about it other than there was a horse race there every year. Magical horse race, I don't know. That's all I knew, but hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, tell me what you want to know. If there's something extra you can tell me, tell me. I want to learn too. Kentucky seems like a cool place. I'll have to go there on a visit. Uh, and then we get... Uh, I'll show you the last two pictures I have, and then we'll show you the last three I have to go on the wall. There's the newest flat base. It's boring. I don't know. It is what it is, right? That's all it is. Uh, there's also this guy. Share the road. Forgot to show you before. It's a little bit older one. And uh, this autism, kids autism one, wherever it is puzzle pieces it's cool it's bright colors and uh to end this show our art plate awesome black plate bright colors on there so uh those are all the ones i found online but we got a few more nature's finest to put up again you might recognize this mystery plate package 111 with the bobcat or lynx or whatever he is 70574 if marty's watching this he'll tell us what kind of animal it is just like he did last time but i've forgotten since then so 
Hopefully you're watching, Marty. And we got one more Nature's Finest plate to go up. You guys will like this one because uh, it's not an animal. It's not an animal. Again, mystery plate package 120. Waterfalls. 0095. Kentucky Waterfall. Looks like a paint by number. It's pretty cool. Throw it up on the wall. And then we got one more final plate to show you. Uh, and at the end of this video, when I'm done uh, blabbing, we'll show you a little clip of all the plates I showed you throughout the video, all the images that come up. We'll have some still frames of all of them flashing at the end. So keep watching, check out the plates if there's one you want a closer look at. Again, hit that subscribe button, like, comment. Go back, watch all the other mystery plate videos. Uh, the last one we did was Idaho just before that. Um, we've got quite a few out there already. Alabama seems to be the most popular. It's got like 700 more views than all the other videos. I'm not sure why, but go watch them all, not just Alabama. What do you guys think? I don't have a whole lot, but there's my Kentucky run. Looks like I got some older uh, blue and white plates to find. Maybe one of them executives. I could be an executive. But uh, that's what I got. Not a whole lot. Next up is uh, Oregon. Oregon's going to go on the wall next. There's space for it. And then Washington, D.C. So stay tuned. Keep watching. I'll try and get one of these out every couple days. Uh, we got some new plant videos coming out too. If you're into flowers. Or if your wife or girlfriend or whoever's into flowers. Show her the video. Get her to subscribe too. Get your mom to subscribe. And uh, we're going to keep showing you license plate stuff because we got mystery plate packages like No Tomorrow. We got spotlights to do, all kinds of cool stuff. So, have an awesome day, awesome week, awesome year. A bug just landed on my nose. That's how nice it was today. Have an awesome time. Find some treasures. Find a license plate. Find lots of license plates. They're fun. They're fun to collect. See? It's addictive. But most of all, get into trouble. Hey, what are you doing? Don't leave yet. Rufus here. I was supposed to come do an ad, but I can't find Kentucky. I've been all over the map. Rufus here. What's going on? Everything's blurry. I can't find my way. Hey, uh, I'm out of breath. Uh, uh, I was supposed to tell you about Kentucky and how we, we eat magical uniforms. And uh, I'm out of breath. I can't talk. I can't see anything. It's all blurry. This is, uh, I hope you watch License Place Spotlight. I hope my ad made it to the video because I feel like I showed up at the end and uh, I don't even know where Kentucky is. Uh, I'm not going to make it. Uh, this is Rufus saying I enjoy License Place Spotlight.